G'day fellas, how's it going? Right before we get into it, I want to say that this video is brought to you by me. I check my YouTube analytics and 73% of you guys who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. What are you doing? Subscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but if you guys do watch my videos and you enjoy them, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And with that said, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, I'm gonna get straight into it. A few weeks back, I made this video, where I custom painted a guitar, and the overall outcome of it, in my opinion, was trash. It's probably my least favorite painting of all time, and for multiple reasons. Mainly because I didn't have a clear plan or idea when going into it, as well as just poor execution. And a way I kind of back this up is, look at how I respond to my other artworks. I'm so, so, so happy with the way it came out. I'm so, so stoked on the way this came out. I absolutely love it. I really love the way these came out. I think the end result turned out pretty cool. And how I responded to this one. Overall, my ideas kept changing throughout doing this, with my natural style being like cartooning and sketching, then to try to do like like a traditional sort of painting. I think I kept confusing myself. Excuses. Valid ones, but excuses nonetheless. Ever since I painted it, I've been thrown off painting completely and jumped back straight to where I feel comfortable, which is drawing. The way it came out just gave me so much doubt in my ability to paint and I wasn't motivated at all. Mainly why you guys haven't really seen a painting video since then. But today I wanted to change that. I'm gonna be repainting the guitar, but instead of trying something out of my creative comfort zone, which I know isn't always the best, I just want to do something to build up my confidence. To be more specific, we're going to be painting some of my favorite anime characters. So last night, I sanded back the guitar, spray painted it white, and drew up a sketch. And this is what I got. So these characters are Ken from Tokyo Ghoul, Naruto from Naruto, <laughs> Deku from My Hero Academia, and Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Without further ado, let's paint. Alrighty, so I really wanted to get back to the basics with this painting, having a sketch on the canvas and then painting it in sections, starting with the background of each area and then slowly working my way forward and have the different colors of the background correspond to the character's color association, which I think really help each of them stand out on their own. Next up, it was time to do the skin. I started with the base skin tone on each one because all of the characters have a really similar complexion, so I just kept it simple. Then, I went over with a slightly darker colour to get the shadows to pop. I think this really helps to make the image not look so flat. Now is the point where I guess you could say I cheated, but not really. I decided to just use a white marker to go over all the spots that would end up being white instead of using a white paintbrush just because I found it easier and a bit more accurate with the pen. My process from here got a bit choppy, so bear with me. I finished up Kaneki's eyes and then moved on to Naruto's hair, which I refined a few times to get a nice yellow. Then I went back to Kaneki's hair and added some grey to give it a bit more volume. Next up, it was time to do Tanjiro's hair, which in my opinion, I personally think it's a really cool and interesting colour, and it really wasn't that hard to make. I actually ended up using a darker version of that colour for the inside of Deku's mouth and a lighter version for his tongue. Then onto his eyes, which was also a super similar colour. When it came to Deku's hair, I knew from the very start that I was going to use markers, mainly due to the shape and style. And lastly, it was onto Naruto's iconic headband. Now with all of the main colors down, it's time for my favorite part of all of this, the inking. Guys, to say that I'm not absolutely hyped about this would be a complete lie. I love the way this came out and it's such an improvement, in my opinion, uh, from what it once was. And now when I look over to my shelf, I can be stoked and hyped on what I've painted. Overall, I think that this process was very much needed. Not only to build my confidence up again, but sometimes it's better to take an extra day to just think of the idea and plan it out properly so then you can execute it better. And I hope that's something you guys can take away too. And lastly, before I sign off from this video, we finally finished it. For those who are new here and don't know, this <laughs> mural has not been finished for so long 
I don't know why, all I had to do was color the letters and outline them, but I finally did it and it's done. It's like 99% done, you see that eye there? I haven't painted it yet, uh, I'll get around to doing that, I promise. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace! How sick is this setup? Oh, I'm pints. I haven't added the graphite to the back of it. I'm so stupid.